Okay. Okay. There'll be star two to raise our hands with any victories, questions, comments. It'll be star two to raise your hand. We're getting off to a little bit of a slow start here with everybody, but we still have more people rolling in here. Well, I'll just I'll call on somebody. Saul, how's it going, man? You there, brother? Saul, are you in the background? All right, so we didn't answer, so we'll move on to uh, any other star two to raise your hand. Actually, I'm going to go to David because we actually had a question out of him the other day. Hey, David, are you there? Yes, Mike, I'm here. Can you hear hey, me? Hey, I had yes, you had a question that I was going to check in on you for, but I can't remember what it was. Do you by chance remember? <laughs> Gosh. Um, which one it was? I'm 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 driving right now, so I can't check back through my notes. Uh, oh, okay. We had, uh, we, had, uh, we had we had talked uh, you know, previously about someone you knew who was doing, um, who who had sent out some some uh, uh, inquiries about private lending, and he had actually sent them through the mail. He had recorded some videos of himself explaining his his program. And uh, sent them directly to doctors, I believe. So, yes. Uh, that was one of the, that was one of the things that we had, which I haven't gotten around to doing, but that sounds like a great idea. Yes, and I, <laughs> I talked to him the other day, and he has had some success with it. He did raise a couple million in about three and a half months, um, and so he's had some he's had some good good success with it. Oh well, I guess I, I'll have to get get the ball rolling and, and, and get that into gear. I oh, asked him, really it, it was interesting because I asked him how, you know, I said, how, you know, how did contact go? And he said, it's just like any mailer campaign. I got about a 1% return. He said, so I did, you know, I did 500 of them and I got, I got five meetings out of it. And I think he got about three or four people to lend to him. And those three or four people re recommended three or four more people. Um, but he said he got more phone calls about his presentation and how he did it, and they'd be interested in doing that than about lending the private money. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So the presentation yes. really caught really caught people's eye. Wow. Well, I, I wish he had sent me one. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I might have sent him some money just to uh, become right. one of his lenders just to find out how he borrowed it. Um, <laughs> I did have a I, can, I, I did have a discouraging oh pardon me, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Um let's see, I, I, I had a upsetting moment uh, a few days ago. I had uh I have a wholesaler who I've dealt with quite a bit and uh they brought me a subject to deal. Went to see the house, there was they were piggybacking on another wholesaler, which is not unusual for this one. And uh, every all the numbers worked. Everything was fine. Um, I said, I'll do it. You know, it's done. Send me the contract. Uh, day goes by, no contract. Two or three days go by, I know something's wrong. I haven't gotten a contract. After right. five days, I get, uh, I get an apology. Uh, she had gone back and tried to, and tried to talk down the, the original wholesaler and get a better deal. And at which point they they just took somebody else, and uh, and so she was out, and uh, you know a very a very nice deal just you know just evaporated. So uh, that was uh, so, something I hope other people don't have to go through. But uh, yeah, that's you're dealing happened, with double that's happened to me. Yeah, that's happened to me with those double wholesalers. They they can be a pain in that in that regard. Yes. Um, I also had a, a, a blow up with my CPA. Um, 
I I had had subject twos in the past, which I turned around and and um, got lease per, did lease uh, purchases to you know to renters who would then someday hopefully get financing and buy the property. Um, but until then, I'm making a spread, of course. And um, she had never given objection before to this, but there was one that was a little more expensive than I normally run. That is the property. It was maybe a $250,000 property, which uh, here in Winston-Salem is, is, is you know, $100,000 more than I would normally do here. Um, yes. But it, it was surrounded by little mini mansions, and and it just made sense. Um, but I, I still only got uh, – and, and then I got right away a, uh, a guy who owns a car repair place. Uh, who who got it? Who went in there as my tenant, tenant to be buyer, and I charged him about uh, a little under five percent for the uh, for the option. In this case, which which to me is, I thought was completely okay. She came back and said that she was going to have to treat that as a sale, in which case I was going to ha- have to pay all the taxes, because I'm I'm still dealing with with that bad CPA. <laughs> Who, who uh, wants me to pay taxes on anything I haven't hold uh, for a year, even if I sell it with owner financing? Well, this was the first time that she had ever pulled a rug out from under me on a, on a deal, um, you know, a lease option deal mm-hmm. where I had a tenant who wanted to be the buyer. So we really went uh, to the mat with that one. And what finally happened was I had to sign a a, a uh, um, uh, an, an acknowledgement that she was warning me that that uh, the IRS could come after me and charge fees and there would be you know lots of money involved, um, but that she was basically doing what I wanted to do despite her recommendations, which which just just seemed. Um, <laughs> Uh, interesting to say the least. So that was uh, that was during the last couple of weeks that this happened, and uh, so I just throw that out there for anybody who's listening that uh, if your CPA says your lease lease option your lease um, purchase is actually a sale, um, you'll have heard of it before because I you know, it, it got uh, thrown at me. So if I said that correct. Will you continue with the CPA, or are you looking for a different one? What do you do? We are just about caught up because we were way behind with some taxes, and we we kind of couldn't change horses in the middle of the stream. But that's tough. Now that I've been there, and that that is tough. That's so. We're we've got another few days to go, and then I, you know, I think for 2020. Um, we can start looking and hopefully find a, a, a CPA who is more of the inclination uh, uh, of the CPA you're working with. And, Good. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, this is a, it's it's very painful having to be a landlord for a year just so that you don't have to. Um, you can turn around and sell with owner financing without having to pay 30 years of taxes today. You're responsible for all those toilets and everything for a year, huh? Yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Not that I'd ever sell anybody a lemon uh, on purpose, but uh, it just uh, it, it's a different ball game. It really is. I don't like being a landlord. But uh, thanks for letting me blow those up. And uh, Absolutely. No, thank you for sharing. I'm glad we could call on you. I appreciate, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good night.